Assalamu alaikum dear students hope you all are fine with the grace of Allah almighty myself is Hinasif lecturer at government Sacha Sarma's post graduate commerce college Hirabad Hyderabad this lecture is for BCom part 2 and consists on complete subject introduction along with the recommended books you may also take help from these two books Mercantile Law by M.C. Shukla and Mercantile and Industrial Law of Pakistan by Khwaja Amjad Saeed. In this subject, we shall study 10 units. Each unit have different chapters. Let's start from unit number 1. Unit number 1 is very important in the eye of law. It is related with the Contract Act 1872. In this unit, we shall study 13 chapters. Number one is about contract and legal definition. Number two, classification of contract. Number three, offer and acceptance. Number four, consideration and object. Number five, capacity of parties. Number six is about free consent. Number seven, void agreement. Number eight, contingent and costly contracts. Number nine, performance of contract. Number 10, remedies for breach of contract. 11, indemnity and guarantee. Number 12, bailment and pledge. Number 13, contract of agency. Unit number 2 is related with the law of sale of goods. In this chapter, we will study 5 major topics of sale of goods. Number 1 topic is about the contract of sale of goods. Number two is about condition and warranties. The three one is transfer of property. The fourth one is the performance of contract of sale. Five is the last topic and that is about the right of unpaid sailor. Unit number three is about law of negotiable instrument. In this unit, we will study six chapters. Negotiable instrument, number two parties of negotiable instrument, presentment of negotiable instrument, negotiable negotiation of negotiable instrument, dishonor of negotiable instrument and bankers and customers. Our unit number four is related with the law of carriage of goods. This unit consists on seven chapters. In this chapter, in this unit, we will study contract of carriage classification of carriers railways as a carrier carriage of goods by sea bill of lading carriage by air documents of carriage by air dear student this is our unit number five law of industrial relations in this chapter we shall study all the legal issues related with the industrial sector including labors and different workplace issues this is our unit number six Law of Labors in Factories. In this chapter, we will study all the legal issues of labor who are working in the factories. In unit number seven, we will study law of industrial and commercial employment. This chapter shall help us to understand about rules and regulations of employment in industrial and commercial sector. In unit number eight, we will study Payment and Wages Act 1936. In this chapter, we will study all the legal issues related with the payments and wages. Unit number nine related with the law of insurance. In this unit, we will study three type of insurance, marine insurance, fire insurance, and life insurance. Unit number 10 is our last unit. This is about law of trust. In this chapter, we shall study about the trust, trustee, and beneficiaries, their duties, liabilities, and legal limitation. So this is all about our subject introduction. Dear student, this lecture was all about complete subject inform introduction. Kisi bhi subject ko shuru karne se pehle, aap sab ke paas us subject ki course outline aur mukammal introduction ka hona bohat zaruri hai. Isi liye is lecture ko इस लेक्चर में आपको मैंने बिजनेस एंड इंडस्ट्रियल लॉ से मुतालिक तमाम इंट्रोडक्टिव इंफॉर्मेशन दी है अब इंशाल्लाह हम अपने दूसरे लेक्चर में बाकायदा अपने सब्जेक्ट को पढ़ना स्टार्ट करेंगे थैंक यू वेरी मच